In this video, we'll illustrate Fubini's theorem for iterated double integrals. Consider the portion of the surface z equals x times sine of y plus 2 that lies above the rectangle r defined by letting x vary from 1 to 2 and y from 1 to 5. The volume of the resulting solid is defined as the double integral over r of our surface's expression dA. But how do you actually compute that? Fubini's theorem yields two ways to compute this volume. The main idea is to integrate the expressions for the cross-sectional areas of this solid. The trick is to hold one of the variables constant, as you're about to see. Each x between 1 and 2 determines a 2D cross-section of this solid. Fixing x, the integral of our surface's expression with respect to y, gives the area of this cross-section. We'll calculate that now. We just apply our typical Calculus 1 rules of integration on the variable y. The resulting area is an expression only depending on x. This makes sense because x determine the cross-section we're looking at. Fubini's theorem says the volume is the integral of the area expression with respect to x. Thus, the volume of the solid is about 8.38496, and here's how you can visualize why integrating this cross-sectional area yields the volume of the solid. Alternatively, each y between 1 and 5 determines a cross-section of the solid also. Fixing y, the integral of our surface's expression with respect to x, gives the area of this cross-section. We'll calculate that now. We just apply our typical Calculus 1 rules of integration on the variable x. The resulting area is an expression only depending on y. This makes sense because y determines the cross-section we're looking at. Fubini's theorem says the volume of the solid is the integral of this expression of the area with respect to y. Again, we obtain that the volume of the solid is about 8.38496. And here's how you can visualize why integrating this cross-sectional area yields the volume of the solid. If you found this helpful, let me know and like and subscribe for more.